day where you were crucified? When you oh, you heard the first show, KGO, overnights, filling in for the overnight host. And all I had to do was mention affirmative action, and I was crucified on the air. Remember that? Yep, and you said you'd never do radio again. I did. In fact, the next day... I drove home at 5 o'clock in the morning after my first virgin outing, actually, and I kept looking in my rearview mirror. I was so freaked out from the hatred I encountered in the Bay Area from expressing, let us say, a counterpoint uh, on political issues. I drove home looking in my rearview mirror, and it, it induced total paranoia in me, the hatred I never encountered in my life. I go home, when my family woke up over breakfast, I said, look, I did radio last night. I'm never going to do it again. The hatred I encountered from, quote, liberals in the Bay Area is too much for anyone to handle. The next day, the program director called me, and she said, you were great. We'd like you to do it again. I said, I'll never do an overnight show again as long as I live. So she's, no, no, no. She said, how about doing a day daytime fill? And I said, I'll try it. Then I filled in daytime for then big stars on KGO. And then as time wore on, they opened up KSFO and turned it over to a conservative outlet. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. So what are you calling about today? What I'm calling about is I work for Walmart. And uh, I, I, on my lunch hour, I went to buy your book, and there's no book. So I punched in, and I'm allowed to get water because I work outside because of the heat. I went back to get water, and your books are all sitting there in plastic. And I asked them, <laughs> They're letting the books melt, huh? I asked them, why, why aren't the books out on the floor? And they says, well, we can't put books out until all the other books are sold. And what? I, you have killing this, you have killing that, you have killing ants, you know, you have killing... <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not true. The That's not true at all. That's not true at all. They're just hiding it because obviously the person in charge of the books uh, is, let us say, uh, of the uh, communist persuasion. The way... Two weeks, because they said it's going to take two weeks to, for these books to sell. Oh, my God. That's astounding. That's a shame. And that's Walmart where? In which town? It's Salinas. Salinas. It's over by that's, Monterey. It's not fair. I thought that liberals believe in fairness. Oh, yeah, but they're not... Isn't it fair to let people pick the kind of books that they want instead of letting them rot in the sun? Well, anyway, thanks for the report from the field. I'll send you a copy from my personal uh, private stock. Uh, going out to you in a moment. <clears throat> Let me see how many people are now talking about Teddy. Another chapter down, need a nap. What a picture. Great picture. Let's see, 99 people, that's all? That's not a big deal. In eight minutes, ten minutes, Michael Savage, Facebook. 99 people. Oh, well. Okay, let's go to another caller on this. No, no, I want to go to the news. Let's see the news. Oh, the news. What's the news? What's the news? There is no news. No news at all. None. No news at all. Zero. People are making the news up. Well, what news? Wait, where's the news out there? A, a blimp fell down. It cut a power line. That's news now. Every site, blimp falls down. Yeah, there's no news. Tether snap power lines. I don't see any news. That tonight's a debate. Are you going to watch the debate? Robert, are you going to watch it honestly? Maybe. Yeah, everyone feels like it. Now it's a point of maybe. The first Republican debate, yeah, we all watched Martha Washington try to eviscerate uh, Donald, and it backfired on her. She lost all credibility with true conservatives. That's it's not going to uh, uh, hurt her. It's only going to advance her career in the liberal media. We know that. But where's the news? I'm not going to watch it tonight. I don't even care at this point. What difference does it make? Are they actually going to say anything you haven't already heard? Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll be interesting to see Ben Carson kind of preening now, all of a sudden thinking he's a president. Let me ask you something about Ben Carson. Again, I think he's a fine man and a wonderful man, but he cannot run a country. It's that simple. No experience. We see what seven years of a person without experience has done to the country. Why would you want another one of a man without experience? Donald Trump, despite what you may like him, not like him, the man has built a business empire. He built it on his own. He understands how to make money. He understands how to build a business. Wouldn't that be good for America as opposed to a community organizer who only knows how to divide and conquer by turning people against each other? Well, that's, of course, Obama. But we're not talking about Carson. I'm not saying Carson's the one to divide. He's a surgeon, a fine pediatric neurosurgeon. He couldn't fake his way into that job. He didn't do it as a result of a... By the way, Ben Carson did not become a pediatric neurosurgeon as a result of affirmative action. Let me be very clear on that. And I'll tell you why. 
because let's say that there was along the way some additional credit given for you know because of race let's be clear somewhere maybe undergrad who knows to get into med school maybe but you see that's where the differential begins you cannot become a pediatric neurosurgeon by being advanced for uh, reasons other than your skill your skill set there's no way you would have passed the boards there's no way you would have passed the internal examinations conducted by other surgeons to perform very delicate brain surgery on on infants and children unless he was extremely talented and qualified so you, you see what i'm saying so he's the real mccoy he's really a good man but is that enough of a qualification to be a president i don't think so as far as fiorina please give me a break already with fiorina the favorite of nbc and abc why because they know hillary will eat people like fiorina Hillary is a dragon, and the only one who can slay that dragon is uh, someone who's not afraid of her, and that's the businessman. She will destroy Ben Carson. He's too nice. She will chop him up, which is why they love Ben Carson, why they're faking the polls. It's that simple, my opinion. 855 400 Eight five five four hundred seven two eight two. JD on WBAP. Welcome to the program. What's on your mind? Yes, sir. I just wanted to tell you uh, about your book yesterday afternoon in uh, in North Dallas. There were plenty of books. They were up front. The uh, thank they, you. Thank you. Did, did check check me out. They had never heard of the book, but anyway, they were up front, and uh, I read uh, thirty five pages. Everything is right on target. I don't I don't see any argument. The only problem I have, and I told the screener, the problem is is we elect the Republicans to do the job and they just sold out again. This guy Boehner, they just this, this two year budget is a joke and they give Obama everything he wants and so I don't I don't know how it's peon at the bottom of the food chain. No, I understand what you're saying and I address that. We don't want a Republican, we want an independent who is running as a Republican. We want a man running as a Republican who has very strong nationalist tendencies that's Donald Trump. That's my opinion. I don't see who else can save the country. Yeah, and really, I know there's a lot of difference between Cruz and Trump, but I think Cruz, whether you like what he says or not, he at least does what... Yeah, I like Ted Cruz's politics, but I'm also a realist. Ted Cruz cannot win the presidency, and I will tell you why. Well, I don't want to tell you why. He can't win. I mean, I've analyzed it. He doesn't have... I'm trying to seek the exact words so people don't misinterpret me. Ted Cruz could not cannot beat Hillary Clinton. Ted Cruz is a very intelligent man. He's got great ideas. I respect him enormously. Yes, he won't come on the show, but that doesn't mean I'm going to put him down. I know he's also afraid to come on the show, just as Ben Carson is. Trump is not afraid to come on the show, but that's not the reason I say Cruz can't win. Cruz can't win because there's a, an element of untrustworthiness about his looks. I'm sorry to tell you, but a lot of an election is about looks. You remember high school, the GO assemblies and who got elected? The most popular kids got elected, the ones who were generally better looking. And I'm telling you, I don't think he has the, the looks to be president. He has a certain like uh, weaselly look about him. Anyway, that's my opinion. Stay in line for a free copy of Government Zero. I know I'm going to make a lot of enemies with that statement because there are a lot of people who love Cruz. I didn't mean to insult you, but I just did. It's just the way it is. When you have, um, what's the illness I say I have, Robert? Where you say things that you, radio Tourette's. I have radio Tourette's. I I can't help myself. It's a it's a disability. I have radio Tourette's. I say things that are that are true without thinking about it until after I say it. So you'll have to excuse me. It's uh, it's not a result of medication. It's uh, probably genetic. It's something that comes out of the Carpathian Mountains. I think I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. Some songs, you know what I'm saying? They move you. It's like me. I move people. Other people just talk. Just words. I move people. So, look, let's get down to the meat and potatoes, okay? I put together, and my guys did this morning, statements that liberals will make and answers to these statements by liberals that you will find in Government Zero by page. So let me read you one see what you think of it. I'm, I'm giving you ammunition to argue with liberals because they're very, very 
stuck in their ways. They're usually closed-minded. Their minds are made up. I'll give you an example of a statement that a liberal might make. Uh, global warming is real. Why can't conservatives and Republicans see that? Answer, chapter 9, zero science, addresses the real science behind, <laughs> addresses on page 239 the inconvenient research, including the Vostok ice core samples, which show that increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere did not cause global warming based upon the carbon record. Another uh, statement would be, government and politics are all these books are ever about. Answer, Government Zero covers much more than just politics. For example, Chapter 5, Zero Education. Chapter 6, Zero Culture. Chapter 8, Zero Religion. Show the variety of problems that are facing our country today. Statement on economics. Isn't, a li isn't it a little racist to call it Black Friday? That's according to one of the dumb women on The View. She said it's racist to call it Black Friday. Answer on page 23. One would assume a century and a half after the abolition of slavery, after the great society, affirmative action, and trillions of dollars in welfare, after the first black president, the first black attorney general, and black CEOs running major corporations, there would be forgiveness. All found in the book. Want to hear a few others? I can give them to you. More cultural and religious diversity in the United States is a good thing. Why are you saying it's not, Michael? Answer pages 158 to 161, where I say, what country is this? It wasn't too long ago that America was still a first world nation. Today, the entire foundation of American society is crumbling as a result of a progressive Islamist alliance 